and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set, Argyle Backdrops. I absolutely love this set for creating cool backgrounds and focal points on your cards. My favorite way to pick up this stamp is to lay it first on my surface. That way I know when I pick the stamp up with my block that it's going to be nice and straight. So I'm going to pick it up. I love this Fisker stamp press for stamping large backgrounds like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink the stamp up really well. And then when you push the stamp down, make sure to have really great even pressure. Then I'm going to ink it up again because I want to cover this whole panel. This is the size of a standard size card, five and a half by four and a quarter. And I want to cover the whole panel with the stamp. And that means you're going to stamp it out three different times. Now, this ink that I'm using, I love it. The color is beautiful, but sometimes it doesn't stamp all the way. Well, a great way to fix this is just to stamp over it again. And you'll see here that I did it over all the diamonds and how nice it looks. And as that ink dries, it'll look even better. Now, this is the really cool dotted line part of the stamp. I'm going to stamp it in a nice dark contrasting navy um, and create this great argyle background. And it's super easy to line up. You can just line up all the little points and get a perfectly covered card base with a really fun custom pattern. Another fun thing that you can do with the stamp set is just use the dotted line portion of the stamp. And when you do that, you get this really great quilted pattern, which looks really cool tone on tone. Um, and I just love it. It's a nice, subtle kind of background for your cards. This set also includes its own individual diamond, which is really nice for creating small little focal points. Uh, it's also the same size as the background stamp, so if you needed to fix something that didn't stamp well, you could use the stamp for that. We also included keep cozy and warm wishes in this set. I just love these sentiments. And here's a look at the different kind of backgrounds and focal points that you can create with this set. So now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to use this stamp set. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center of my panel just so that when I stamp this strip, I'll have it right in the middle. And I love creating a strip in a card. It's a great focal point and kind of a cool way to use the stamp set, not just as a background. So once again, I'm gonna stamp over it again because I really want that bold teal color that you get by stamping over it again. And then I'll erase my little pencil guide marks and then I can line up this great dotted line portion of the Argyle. I just love how that's looking. Here I have the Sweater Weather Paper Collection and I'm gonna look for uh, the houndstooth pattern, uh, which really matches with that navy ink. Um, and I like the, Id uh, the idea of combining Argyle and houndstooth together for fall. And I have a five by three and a half base here and I'm gonna put my pattern paper over the card base and then adhere my three by five panel right in the center of that card. A stitch circle from the Stitch Party Banners dies. And now I'm gonna use the new Love You A Latte stamp set. This stamp set is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out the cup, plate, and spoon. And then of course, we've gotta add a smiley face. And then I'm gonna stamp this Love You A Latte sentiment, which I love because it looks like steam coming out of the coffee, right in the center of this uh, stitched circle. Now I'll go ahead and add some quick Copic coloring. Right here, you'll see that I'm touching the tip of the light marker to the dark marker, and that's to create kind of a medium shade in between the two to really blend those colors together well. Now I'll use the coordinating dies and cut out my sweet images. Then I'll go ahead and adhere my coffee cup to the plate and then the entire thing to the bottom of that stitched circle. Then I'm gonna take one of the scalloped circle dies there and that way we can create a nice background for our little sentiment and image panel. Um, and I'm gonna cut it from that really fun sweater weather hound's tooth again. And you'll see when you add that it really makes the whole thing super bold. So I'll just adhere that circle down and then I'll use some foam adhesive to pop it up from the card just to add some fun extra interest. I love how cool it looks with that argyle running down the bottom. 
And then of course we need to add our little spoon. It really just finishes off the card. And I just love how it turned out super simple and easy to make a ton of them. So this is Argyle Backdrops. I love that you could create an entire card base of Argyle or just use the dotted line to create a quilted pattern. You can use that little small diamond to create some cool focal points and there's some great sentiments to go along with it. My favorite way to use it is to create a strip down a card to really help highlight a cute image like the one from Love You A Latte. So thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.